ሰለው አያም ሹሻይ አዳነ my first ever guest today is tartara wasubuh one of the living legends of tigray people's liberation front fighters stay with us we will raise and discuss quite various issues welcome to our studio uh, you are one of uh, the veteran fighters of tpf moreover uh, you are among those hand counts who are quite fortunate to be uh, part of uh, three chapters of struggle right okay just to start with um, you have been somewhere else out of Ethiopia for quite a uh, long time tell us where have you been and uh, what made you uh, come back to your homeland Tigray after having been somewhere else out of Ethiopia just just like what I said before but the very reason behind your coming now it's great to, to have a conversation with you and with the media okay. I've been in Australia for a couple of years okay. and um, I was enjoying the life there and it was good mm -hmm. but the most cases have been done by the anti-government and anti-PLF or PRDF groups mm -hmm. who are called uh, chauvinists. I don't mention them chauvinists, by the way. I've got some reasons to say that. Okay. Anyway, when the uh, developmental situation was running good mm -hmm. with the remaining poor activities, nevertheless, mm -hmm. uh, it does matter about it. But Ethiopia was growing good in the last 10-15 years and uh, scoring double-digit economic growth. I was very honoring that, but unfortunately, the last two, three years, group of people who are against the development and the peace process in Ethiopia, uh, their undemocratic way uh, of Sorry sense. for the interruption anyways. Mm -hmm. Let me interrupt you. Uh, let's focus first. Uh, as you said, you have been somewhere else out of Ethiopia, maybe in Australia, you said, but you came back to Tigray right now, yes, maybe last year, right? What was the reason behind your coming back? That's what I'm, 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 yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. saying. Okay. Because for that reason, mm -hmm. I was having a pain. Why do they are provoking and sabotaging the development and the peace? Of those 20, 27 years? Yes. Mm -hmm. So these people are trying to demolish the situation mm -hmm. and to, to make a lot of suffering for the people. So I was totally in pain. So I decided to, to challenge and to be part of the, the people of Tigray, mm -hmm. to participate and contribution, part of the challenging of the uh, all motivations and uh, against the, the people of Tigray and the TPLF. I have to start, I decided to come and to stand with them, mm -hmm. to challenge the situation, mm -hmm. to bring good um, environment in Ethiopia as well as in Tigray. Thank you very much. Great. Uh, you were and you are still, of course, known uh, during those times of the armed struggle and still uh, for your art workers, right? You are, honestly speaking, one of those um, legends in terms of art, in addition to all those uh, contributions you have made so far. Uh, how do you describe uh, the role of art during those times, during the armed struggle? Oh, as everybody knows, and as you all know, mm -hmm. or as we all know, Tigrayan people has um, very different years for longer times, mm -hmm. even from the be very beginning of the reign of Minilik, mm -hmm. the national and the class operations. Mm -hmm. So Tigrayan people are suffering a lot, but they were not um, looking at it, being bending their next they were decided to fight and to challenge that and to, 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 to deliver um, democratic situation circumstance uh, beyond that peace and development mm -hmm. so that revolutionary spirit revolutionary spirit of the people were motivating everybody else to be mm -hmm. part of it mm -hmm. honorably mm -hmm. with good interest 
to the highest, most feeling love of the people and to, to solve the problems. And I was one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so I joined the struggle. Actually, I joined the PLF not to sing or to produce music or whatever. Mm -hmm. what so it was a matter of chance? No, right. no, it was a matter of um, being there. Uh, there was a department which we called it Bada uh, Hade, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, cultural department. Okay. So that was meaningful to uh, found that. So at that time, I was assigned to be part of it. Mm -hmm. I was not angry. But I was preferring to be somewhere with the, on the front line with the fighters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I was on the back of the, we call it the Dejen, mm -hmm. so to serve and to help the, the, the revolution. So as it is my uh, responsibility, or you have to be obeyed, you have to be loyal to the uh, administrative um, job descriptions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I joined there, then I was starting to be a musician, like playing flute, traditional flute. Mm -hmm. After a few uh, years or uh, sometimes, I tried to be uh, more responsible to do something, to create something, to help and to deliver good contribution to the struggle. So I started to write songs and singing, I try to write musical dramas and dramas for the reason uh, to be a good spices mm -hmm. to contribute for the struggle to more s s more stronger uh, re to revolution the revolutionary the public. yes mm -hmm. to the struggle in the general public. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, but uh, this new generation, including I myself critically want to know the secret behind those classic songs which are still being tuned. What was the secret behind that? I know uh, during those times uh, no more technology, mm, everything was uh, a bit backwarded, right? But those songs are still being tuned as compared to uh, these new ones of this generation, right? Where have you been obtaining the basics of uh, uh, the artists, especially uh, music. For instance, uh, someone should have a basic knowledge about rhythm, right? Beat, major, scales, diatonic, pentatonic scales, and choy, blah, blah, this scales, right, of Ethiopia. Um, not only that, but also uh, breathing technique, breathing management, right? Vocal exercising, warming up, blah, blah. Music, as an artist, I know, is quite difficult and complicated, right? What was the secret behind those uh, powerful and strong messages and uh, even the melody itself, the lyrics, right? Uh, how, how can you tell us about the secret of those times in, in, with regard to the music? Oh, to bear in mind, there was no secret. It's very clear. Once you are sided with the people and with the revolution, with the struggle, as part of the, the struggle, you have to to do your uh, most most contribution, uh, as I said before, to to make the struggle successful and to to get out of to get to be victorious. Okay. So we were, we were putting our most uh, abilities and uh, skills to benefit for the growth and developing the struggle. So everybody on that group, in that group, on that times, we were not even uh, having uh, attending in class for the music, never. I remember one or two guys who were playing music in towns. Like to mention, we, I remember what the guy was in Makale, he was playing as in cultural, uh, we call it chira. He was playing in, uh, yeah, in traditional yeah, way, yeah. in different, in, in some the marriage areas or whatever, any event. So he was the one who has abilities to play the chira. The only one. The only one by that time. And uh, I remember Mr. Bahata was a singer. He was not even a musician. For the founders of the cultural department by that time. Bahata Gabriot. Bahata Gabriot, yes. Mm -hmm. The rest told them as soon was like amateur musician. Mm -hmm. He was playing in Aksum guitar with his friends at school time. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, I was playing flute with friends while we were scout or with the yeah, was, uh, associations. Okay, you used I was to play the, flute before you joined? Yes, mm -hmm. and I, was, I, I learned that from the um, uh, rural areas, and from mm -hmm. the village areas, uh, youngsters who were playing, mm -hmm. and I was looking at them, and I was listening, I got interested, and I started to, to practice. Mm -hmm. That was the only skills we had. Mm -hmm. So nobody was... Uh, teaching you? Uh, nobody was teaching me, nobody was teaching our groups. We were trying to do something to start with. At your best? At, from, from some lowest level. From the scratch, so, yeah. From the scratch. Now we had some, some interest and feeling. Mm -hmm. So the obligation is also uh, push you to, to, to do uh, practice lot. at most, mm -hmm. at your best level. Mm -hmm. So we create something very poor literacy, literature, or uh, music coordination. So time to time, to put yourself as you are contributing with full interest and being you are uh, the son of the people or you are part of the, for the revolution. So once you strongly decided from full heart, full heart and full mind with the people, you will be striving to do the best. And that was the development. That was how we grow up. So uh, simply put, uh, it was uh, the result of uh, um, your efforts are simply, right? The evolutionary mentality. Okay. Public mm -hmm. mentality. Mm -hmm. You are sided with the people. You love the people. You mm -hmm. love the revolution. You love in struggling to dismantle the fascist government by that time, mm -hmm. meaning dark. Mm -hmm. So you are you, you got energy. Mm -hmm. You you were very energetic and public uh, sense on that time to 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 put in victory the struggle, the way of the struggle, to make it faster or mm -hmm. stronger. To make, you have to make the people conscious enough to be mm -hmm. part of the struggle. The operation, the problem was their own. So they have already motivated um, uh, stand up together to solve these problems. So you have to make the step by step, day to day, the make progresses, progresses. Mm -hmm. uh, with, this, with the army by the time, with the fighters, front fighters, with the people, and with some other stuff, you make to make conscious enough to make to create drastic change in, in Tigray or in Ethiopia. So mm -hmm. we were strong enough to, with a full interest, we you feel like you belonging the revolution. It's your belongings. So you will mm -hmm. be sided. The secret is, you have to be with the people. You have to be really in the revolution. You have to be revolutionize yourself being transforming mentally, physically, and psychologically to be victorious mm -hmm. and to avoid uh, the very, uh, very long year, that took long year operations, mm -hmm. national operations and dominations to solve this. You have to be active and you are trying to make active uh, participants all rounded to broaden the active mm -hmm. participants of the people. All inclusive, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Um, what were the very objective that you have been fighting for with those all energies? And how do you evaluate the current situation in Ethiopia as compared to that? Oh, I would like to emphasize these things uh, with to Let's focus on the uh, past 27 years, then we'll proceed to the current situation, okay. All right, mm. we can start. The 27 years was not uh, the darkest time in Ethiopia. And it was not even, uh, um, undeniably, there were many things changed in Ethiopia. Containing and maintaining peace in Ethiopia for the last 27 years. Mm comparing with the Turk regime time. Ethiopia was almost disabled in a uh, disintegrity in, in way mm -hmm. before 20 years. We mm -hmm. all know many armed struggles. It was on the brink of uh, being I mean, disintegrated. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. nearly to be disintegrated. Mm -hmm. Clearly, everybody mm -hmm. knows. The mm -hmm. people of Ethiopia, they know, and the most um, um, people in the world uh, which are concentrating to the following the Ethiopian situation, mm -hmm. we are uh, witnessed that that situation was very, very critical. 
So after EPRDF took place, dismantling the Turk regime, mm -hmm. the progress was very visible. Everybody can understand it. It was good. So within that time, there are a lot of basic benefits for the nationalists and nationalists and nationalists and nationalists in Ethiopia. People are using their language, developing their language. They were clearly came to the stage to, to declare or to express who they are. So some group were not very happy with this situation. So those group were trying to, distort, to make distortions against the good situation of New Ethiopia by that time. Mm -hmm. So the two sides were growing together. The people were doing to develop the country, to contain and maintain peace in Ethiopia, and uh, the development was clearly uh, understood. I understand why these people are opposing. Well, Those who would, are yes. people, the people who are trying to be unity and uh, some things and blah, blah. We will we'll be back to them. Yeah. We will be back, but we okay. need to mention that. Okay. Because we, I need to, to bring this topic okay. side to side to the time we are okay. currently uh, discussing, dealing with. Mm -hmm. So you can't separately uh, bring them to this to, to bring them to this point. Mm -hmm. When the revolution was uh, vigorously going and growing and making a lot of developmental situations, good governance. I mean, relatively. There might be weaknesses, but regardless of that, what we are achieving on that time was an extraordinary historical. Being reading the Ethiopia before 70 years, mm -hmm. when Turk or uh, the Majesty, or before that. Mm -hmm. so, we, we were, so, so people were dying for having no food, for uh, having no peace, war to each other. And uh, they were manipulating the situation by being where coming from God, blah, blah. And that was the oldest and very backward mm -hmm. situation in Ethiopia, which was carried on the back of the people. Mm -hmm. People are suffering for, lot, for many reasons for long years. So they see the brightest situation after the PRPR was controlling the government, mm -hmm. ruling the government. So that progress was making them to be angry. They want to be one state, one man, one flag, one language, whatever. Mm -hmm. So they knew this was all already demolishing. So they were angry for that matter. Mm -hmm. So the development was coming, brought peace, relatively good, good circumstance, good environment in the people. People were running to, to run and work and to achieve uh, some uh, wealth. Whatever they, whatever in the corner of Ethiopia, in every earth, in every Ethiopian corners, so this was not making them comfortable, mm -hmm. and the external power also was not happy with these situations. We will talk about that okay. as they say. Okay, uh, if it is so, why do you think? Uh, of course, you have uh, touched it a little bit, but let's discuss uh, the details. Uh, the reason behind uh, uh, this new leadership uh, at the center in Addis has repeatedly uh, mentioned uh, those 27 years as the most dark, darkest ones, while claiming to have achieved or brought uh, historic changes to Ethiopia uh, by introducing sweeping reforms to those all the systems as to the government now. What would you like? Uh, would you like to say something in this regard anyways? To be clear, to be very clear on these issues. As I said before, I didn't finish actually. Uh, to make it very clear, nationalists and nationalists of Ethiopia, they were enjoying the federalism. They were enjoying the rule of law in Ethiopia, the constitution. Mm -hmm. But as I said, some group of people, they could be elites, they were not uh, very much happy uh, about this progress in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. They were casting as Ethiopia belongs to some others. Mm -hmm. Good few group of people in Ethiopia. This was totally wrong. But they know that was wrong. But 
they were very clear not to accept the federalism in the constitution in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Regardless of that, as we know, if the, the majority of the Ethiopians was enjoying the federalism and they were keeping you know, to be demolished the constitution, mm -hmm. side to side, two sides were uh, arose by that time. We cannot deny this. Mm -hmm. To discuss this situation, we have to go back and to 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 make some points on that. Let's go. We okay. need to bring that. Let's go. Okay. That's the point. Mm -hmm. I need to to discuss it. Okay. Okay. That's uh, nice. Progress meaning the internal situation, as I said, was uh, 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 painted with two different senses, mm -hmm. position or uncomfortable group, and those who are enjoying the system. Plus, beyond this, there were external powers mm -hmm. to, to oppose the development of progress. They were scaring of it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go further. As China was delivering good, assist, good assistance to the Ethiopians and to the Africans, mm -hmm. The Europeans and the USA people group of leadership was, was happy. They were saying we are too late to be to be in Africa. So mm -hmm. they were thinking the power and the economic benefits were progress in Ethiopia to, to benefit China. Mm -hmm. This was a very fundamental mission to address in Ethiopia and the internal people who are against the development and the peace process were also getting some missions to be messenger to dismantle, to destroy the, the system. Mm -hmm. So I, I clearly understand to, to discuss this situation now, or to say something about the situation in Ethiopia now. There was not, uh, there, it's, it's very clear that two things are uh, happening. The mission comes from overseas, and the messenger who is taking the message and acting to distract the situation in Ethiopia. So, uh, are you saying, uh, because you have to make it clear mm -hmm. for our audiences, are you saying that uh, the Westerners are working hard to make China out of the game in Africa? Is that the point that you would like to convey now? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was the reason to keep their interest in Ethiopia. They have to push some other powers from Ethiopia, out of Ethiopia, mm -hmm. for their own benefit. Mm -hmm. They were getting jealous that Ethiopia is integrated with most as diplomatic relations, more clearly with China and some other uh, Developmental. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. yes, with your policy and with the principles, integration, principle relations, mm -hmm. was good. So they were getting very jealous, and they were to trying to push China out of Ethiopia, and to pull themselves in in Ethiopian interest. Mm -hmm. So how do you evaluate the current situation, especially the uh, new leadership uh, in Addis Ababa? From this point of view, uh, how is it performing? Oh, it's really understandable mm -hmm. to distract the development, to disintegrate the society, to promote someone again, to stand against someone, mm -hmm. to have conflicts between the people. This is what they are casting and um, doing badly in Ethiopia. So I'm very clear, and, um, or I'm very optimistic. This situation will be changed because the people are getting conscious enough now. I know there was something uh, to say before, before this group are acting in Ethiopia, the internal, which is, we call him Pros Pro 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 PP, mm -hmm. Prosperous Party, uh, mm -hmm. and the missionaries. The power Prosperity power, Party, yeah. Prosperity Party and mm -hmm. the missionaries, mission givers from overseas are confused this time, clearly confused. Mm -hmm. Those people from overseas, the Westerners, are not satisfied with the PP now, as I heard. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. getting satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And this PP party group are not also doing as well as the missionaries are uh, asking to deal with. Mm -hmm. Now, the people of Ethiopia, in more, 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 oh, yeah, more people now, majority, the majority, majority. the majority mm -hmm. uh, is coming to be against it. They are uh, making some oppositions. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not uh, happy with it. They have a lot of dissatisfactions in peace, getting money, working everywhere. There is no justice. Uh, but these people, this group are running uh, from justice to make uh, the Ethiopian people are to make the certain, very certain what the people are demanding. They are not capable with that. Mm -hmm. It's not only because they get a mission. They don't have even the skills and the capacity to to make. Uh, the good fair in Ethiopia, good fair, fair, fairness. They are not fair people. They don't have the capacity. They are a lot of cheating and um, making, um, what do you say, this uh, manipulation, mm -hmm. manipulation and lobby system. Mm -hmm. They are becoming uh, undemocratic, clearly undemocratic. Don't say this, don't support this. We need to support us. They are forcing people to, to get support from unwillingly. People are not desired to, to give their cards, as I observe. Maybe by it's, intimidating them, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's too soon mm -hmm. to, to say that. Okay. But the, the signs are now, I've been in Addis for a few days. Mm -hmm. So people are, people are saying they are not happy. They just uh, clearly saying, we are not happy. This is not the right, the right person, the right group. We were hoping to bring uh, stability and uh, restoring order in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they are now saying there is no government in Ethiopia because there is no... Uh, when someone is crying over there, any police or federal or whatever police is looking at you standing or with, with careless uh, attentions, they don't get support. Nobody is coming to protect them. They are living with fears and frustrations. So this will bring to people together to stand against any reactionary group and uh, foreign interference. Uh, you said that uh, the Westerners, as you, as you said, are now this much satisfied with PP because uh, it couldn't satisfy them. Really? You said so, right? What are the manifestations or justifications? Why do you think uh, they are not happy with the PP? Well, the, um, as I said before, earlier, mm. the PP group and some uh, supporters of them are uh, against, they are not uh, developmental forces. They, are, they cannot make peace. They cannot restore order. Okay. They cannot contain and maintain peace, peace uh, peaceful environment in Ethiopia. Mm. So it's very clear and very certain to be people against it. Mm. If they are getting hopeless, if they don't have any bright future. In the country. In the country, mm. and in, in daily life, mm. in every house, there is the darkest uh, feeling in the hopelessness, highly hopelessness. They don't get money, they are not working, there is no job opportunities. Uh, but, but my question was, the Westerners, are not happy with PPI side. I mean, you said, right? Yes. The Westerners. Oh, the yeah, Westerners. Yeah, that's the point. Oh. Yeah, that's the question. I thought you asked me about the people. Oh, no. Oh, mm. it's a good question. Mm. The mm. Westerners are still dissatisfied because of the, the men they select is, is not qualified to their willing and desire. Let's, discuss, make, ab let's discuss about that. What were those willing of these Westerners? Yeah. Oh, to keep their interest in Ethiopia, mm -hmm. to have uh, manipulating the economy to be economic colonialists or to be powerful in this Horn of Africa because mm -hmm. the Horn of Africa is very serious to the world, they know. And they, they, they are trying to be, to be successful in all, in all dimensions, their benefits, economic, political uh, interference, 
colonial mentality with the modern world. So this is their demand, highest demand. So this man or this group, they cannot, at least, the American, the Westerners were trying to be, Ethiopia to be, not to go with that big, fast developmental way, mm -hmm. but to stay calm and cool, mm -hmm. not to be dis di 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 disintegrated. Mm -hmm. They don't need Ethiopia to be, to be disintegrated. Mm -hmm. They like to see poor Ethiopia, weak Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. They don't like to see the fastest growing country, one of the, to be one to be of maintained. the fastest growing country in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with these connections that I said before, the Chinese are uh, making their ground because of Ethiopia. They were believing that China is maintaining good ground in Africa because of Ethiopia, because of the PLF. Because of the leadership of this mm -hmm. so we have to make them weaken. Mm -hmm. So they, they they were predicting to end delivering missions and supports to the people in PRDF who were uh, mm -hmm. calling themselves change makers. Mm -hmm. They were selecting and maintaining and properly shaping them to to make their mission successful in Japan. Very certainly, certain mm -hmm. in Ethiopia, mm -hmm. but it cannot. One, they don't have the capacity. They are out of beyond that. They get beyond that to keep their. Uh, it's very confusion. They cannot deliver the mission which is given by the foreigners. One, because of the capacity. They need to stay in power by making very destructive, destructive. Situations in it. Mess. Division and mess yeah. making and yeah. uh, uh, making to the people not united. Mm -hmm. This is del de deliberately done by this group. So the people, the Westerners, were not expecting Ethiopia to be de 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 destructed, dis what do you call to disintegrated totally. But they need to see weaker Ethiopia, but they don't need to see developed fast growing way. Past of Ethiopia to disrupt that. They don't want to see developed Ethiopia, mm -hmm. but they see weakened, but not disintegrated in Ethiopia. And these people, they cannot fulfill that mission. This leadership in the center. The current leadership. Yes. Yeah. Always claim or always mention themselves, as you said, as the change makers who brought historic economic change, historic peace and stability and yeah, tranquility. But what you said is quite contrary to this, right? So what do you think is the reason? Uh, where is uh, the momentum? I would like to say they are not mm. change makers. They are saboteurs. Mm. Mm. They are making a lot of lies to confuse the people and to get support to stay in power for longer. Mm. That's their main aim. I would like to say it again and again. They are against development in Ethiopia. They are against the society of Ethiopia. They don't like to be Ethiopia developed. They don't like to, to, to make uh, peace in place. They are not capable to be, uh, uh, to set up justice in Ethiopia. They don't even, they don't have the capacity, one. They don't need it to, this is my understanding. They don't like it to happen. Okay. So they would like to say, being uh, defaming the 20 years, the last 20 years progress mm -hmm. as being saying it was dark time and being insulting the people in the PLF and um, uh, and some others very, very, I mean, it's a shameful word to be using that to, mm -hmm. to create support, to get uh, support. Mm -hmm. That's their purpose. They don't even have the aim mm -hmm. where to bring Ethiopia where to take these young people, to create job opportunities for the people. They don't have even the, pro the, the, the program and the strategy for that. Okay. You see? They don't even know what they are doing. They only know, as we see, they are trying to build a case of making their power to stay in power. They are crazy. They are making the, to stay in power. They don't have even far-sighted view. Okay. To be honest. Okay, thank you. Um, 
let's come back to another issue. Uh, why do you think uh, all dictators, be it from inside or outside, in Ethiopian history, make Tigran's target? Excellent, excellent. It's, it's, I would like to go back to see to to see what was the background of the Ethiopians, the Tigrayans. By by a big means, big means, Ethiopian Tigrayans were uh, having uh, self uh, what do you call self uh, self defense mentality. They are very strong to protect themselves and to protect their uh, territory. They are feeling vigorous uh, by means of internal situation is uh, decisive to who they are. I mean, to their integrity, their vigorousity to protect uh, invaders to defend invaders and to win in any wars in the last history. They never call foreign support in history, as far as I know. Never. Tigrayans never called any assistance. Please help us to do this. Never. They will be confident on themselves to defeat and to challenge their problems. This is the history what tells me and what tells you, what tells us. And these people, these foreigners, they know the black people of Tigray were beating Italian invaders in the soil of Tigray. So the, the, the Europeans, they know how powerful we are. With the very backward tools in the army, arms, but with the solidarity, the internal solidarity and strong integrity to find and to challenge and to protect their, their uh, Territory. They were strong enough in history, even to build Ethiopia. Their contribution to f f on, found on founding Ethiopia. Their contribution is on to see the new Ethiopia, the current 27 years, within 17 armed struggle of the Grand People and some other democratic fronts being joined with the TPLF, mm -hmm. calling themselves EPRDF. We destroyed the government who was. Uh, on power for 70 years, the Turk regime. Mm. You know, we dismantled it clearly. Everybody knows, the world knows. They are against it. They are not happy, some people. They don't like to be the oppression, the feudal or uh, feudal administration in Ethiopia, which is called re saying representing Amharans. They were not even be benefiting the Amharan people. They were staying in power by saying giving meaning we are Amaran, they are Amaran, blah, blah, blah. They were working hard to maintain the old monarchy in, the, in the name monarchy. of the Amhara region, the Amharan. Amhara people. Clearly, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. So people, they, some people maybe misunderstood the situation. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to ignore that we didn't, we have done uh, not enough job in that situation mm -hmm. to make it clear. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have to do more. We have to, we should be uh, clearly understand. There are also, as IPRDF make criticisms to himself, we have got a lot of things, unfinished jobs on the team. So we have to finish them. We've been, we should finish them by that time anyway. It's gone now. We don't need to come back, to go back there. But to mention, these were also some gaps to, 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 to make the conventions, the confusions, the people to be against us, the elite. So this situation is now plus, as I say to you, I don't want to say like Chobanist story. There is no Ethiopia without the grants. Okay. Ethiopia to be protected, to be protected, the grants must be uh, recognized as strong power of Ethiopians, strong guard of Ethiopians, in maintaining the sovereignty of Ethiopia. And we played a big role to dismantle fascist Turk. I mean, the Chobanist Turk regime, the military junta in Ethiopia. So this is, it makes you, when you get stronger, by the way, 
one needs to understand. When you get stronger, when you are very strong in every condition, in every terms, you will create enemies. This is definitely clear. Being weaker, or you are not, if you are not strong, nobody, nobody will see you. They don't even mention your name. They don't pay attention. Be because though you are stronger, you will at least uh, get some people to be following you, in good or bad. Okay. Um, and they know, mm -hmm. as I will say it again, underlining the impo this point, to be really make your benefits in Ethiopia with the foreigners who are dreaming, there must be good te te techniques and strategies to make weaker and weaker the people of the Tigrayans. If you make them very weaker and powerless, some around us, some countries or some governors, some leadership are trying to fulfill, to make satisfaction their dreams to manipulate Ethiopia. If you push the grants and pull foreigner, foreigner supporters, the dream will be, they thinking that their dream will be certain. Never, cannot be happen. Okay, do you think Tigray had been and is still being sabotaged? If so, I mean, uh, let you say something in this regard anyways. Uh, is a, a yes or a no uh, question anyways. Do you think Tigray is, I mean, had been and is still being sabotaged? Yes, indeed. Okay. If so, anyways, uh, the reason behind this question is there are two extreme arguments in this regard. There are some groups and individuals who say that this is a false narration of TPLF for its political gain. This is another, I mean, one dimension. The other one is no. The government in the center is trying hard to sabotage Tigray. This, 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 this ways. For instance, blah, blah, blah. They come up with different justifications. So, what is your justification? What is your logic behind saying yes? In the first place, yeah. the constitution and the, the uh, federalism is our contribution. We paid blood and uh, lives of our people, our fighters. Mm. Uh, you see? This is the principles we we been struggling to to create in Ethiopia, to bring in Ethiopia. Mm. So they are against it. So if TPLF is uh, been existing in the power, this will never abused. So we are TPLF is sabotaged, Tigrayans are sabotaged to be to lose the uh, federalism and the constitution. Mm. You understand? Okay. We are not comfortable to be in Ethiopia without that constitution, clearly to be said. So, so do you think Tigray is being pushed from Ethiopia right now? No, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they are trying mm -hmm. and acting and casting to alienate Tigrayans from the central power. And uh, so what does it mean? If Tigrayans uh, don't have any representation in the center, they are being pushed, doesn't it mean? They are pushing, yes? They, I mean, they are being pushed. If uh, Ethiopians don't want Tigrayans to have any representation in the center, this is, in other words, being pushed. But the, the principle, mm. the principle we had mm. for, federal, for federalism, federalism and yeah. restoring order and to keep the constitution in Ethiopia, the principle is with us. We lose nothing. Mm -hmm. The main brain is here. Mm -hmm. We still try to bring back the constitution to be alive, not to be touched, not to be attacked, the federalism not to be broken and dismantled, demolished. Mm -hmm. We're struggling. And we have we got many supporters on this principle. Mm -hmm. So the principle in Ethiopia in general, in the majority people of Ethiopia is still alive. Mm -hmm. The leadership is maybe pushed out of the, po the power. Mm -hmm. Still it's continuing. This is crazy action in my meaning. But my meaning. there are people who say all what you mentioned so far are part, I mean, part and parcel of that pushing Tigray from Ethiopia. No, not at all. Mm. Not at all. Mm. We're still Ethiopians, as I believe. 
Nobody can push you to be out of Ethiopia. We can be pushed from, from Gondor, maybe this, this, uh, people are destabilized from Gondor or from Amhara region by the elite and stupid people who doesn't have, who doesn't have humanity, human sense, who doesn't have uh, the, the, the genuine political uh, pew, view. So these are the very, what do you call them, the bandits. It's okay, uh, but let me Let me, let me okay, finish this, okay. please. Mm -hmm. And in Ethiopian situation, the APRDF is, is becoming, the, the situation is trying to try to break it in illegal situation. They don't have the mandate. They are illegal who are acting this. And they will be questioned for these <laughs> crimes, <laughs> clearly. So the principle is alive. Developmental policies, the foreign policies, in farming and industrialization policies still alive. Nobody can touch them. Hmm. It's in the, in the mind of the people. I say Ethiopian to people. people who are enjoying that. Ethiopian people. The Ethiopian people in mm -hmm. total, mm -hmm. without the elite people, mm -hmm. they were enjoying the federalism and the developmental policies in ground. They were enjoying, they are uh, making money. People are getting uh, a little bit prosperous than before. They are out of getting out of poverty. Yes, they are better off here. Yeah. As all and everybody knows, the poverty level in Ethiopia, the last some of us, as you know, we are 44, 60 percent. The statistics is clearly showing it's 20 something percent mm -hmm. and 23 percent. What does this mean? Isn't this that makes people enjoying life? They are still, the, the living standard is changing completely. Maybe some others and some few who are poor administrators. Okay. You can see people in Gaint or something walking without shoes. It's because of the leadership. You understand? The, um, the, the poor leadership, not in general the leadership of... I, I, got, uh, I got it, I got it. But uh, maybe last question in this regard is, uh, you know, my question, the very question, uh, or the very point behind my question is, you said Tigrans uh, maybe push it from Gondor, maybe push it from Addis Ababa, maybe push it from somewhere else. Part this of it. This happened already. Okay. Not only in Tigray, okay. everywhere. I know. But what is the relevance of being Ethiopia uh, if you are being pushed from here and there? In principle, we are in Ethiopia still, but what is the justification, or I mean the relevance of being um, Ethiopian if you are being pushed from here and there uh, away from Tigray? Every part of Ethiopia is pushing you, right? So what does being Ethiopian mean? What's its relevance? This is the action of the anarchist people. Hmm getting mission from the elite people to create hatred between Ethiopians. This okay. was delivery, okay. deliberately done. Mm -hmm. Give it a meaning. Not the Amharan people in general were trying to push the Greens. Mm -hmm. In contrary, the Amharan the Amara people are still saying thousand times the Greens people are our brothers. Mm -hmm. As the Greens people are saying, Oromo people are our brothers. Mm -hmm. The uh, Amharan people are brothers. So people are misusing and abusing the system, being getting a mission with the elite people. That all action is, is from the anarchists and their leadership of the elite people. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Not the people. Even this, this was happening even be, when Majest was in, in power. When Elisilasi was in power, they were proacting, being saying the Amharan power. Okay. They understand, I yeah, think yeah, they understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this was, the, it has got historical background, but which is remaining with the elite people, not with the mass. The mass doesn't accept, they didn't accept to have enemies around them. The Amaran people, they don't like to have enemies. They don't like to fight with the other people. I can say to you 100% confidentially. Mm -hmm. I'm very enthusiastic. The Tigran people doesn't like to be quarrel or to fight with other people. The Oromo people, they don't like, they don't prefer it. They prefer peace, good governance and development. They love their children to go to school and to come back safely and 
protect them. So there is no this any, is the there, common denominator of all Ethiopians. Don't okay. ignore that. So there is no any enmity uh, among the Ethiopian people, the general public. Absolutely, I can say yes. Thank you. Uh, okay, February uh, 18, uh, 2020, this year, marks uh, uh, the uh, 45th anniversary of uh, TPLF. Uh, how do you remember uh, that? Oh, February. Uh, my question this. is yes. yes. Uh, this year, we are going to uh, celebrate our uh, 45th anniversary. Uh, I mean TPLF. Uh, so, in other words, February 18, 1975, was the year during which the first TPLF was founded. Yes, yes. Mm. So, how do you remember that? Uh, I don't want to kill time being saying this because it's everybody, it's very clear, you know, what, what was the TPLF's birthday, birth time, the foundation of the TPLF and its contribution in the last many years, 45 years in Ethiopia, even in Tigray. We can do our best if we need it at most. This is what the David tells to the world. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to, <laughs> de to deal and kill your time. We have done something, we have contributed something to the world, to the Africans, to the all Ethiopians. We delivered nation, nationalists in Ethiopia to be, to be called by their name. Oromo to be called by the, uh, by Oromian. And to be proud of it. Of yes, to be proud uh, of their identity. Yes, mm. to be proud on, their, on themselves. Mm. The Afro people are still acting the same. They felt it in a good way. In, in, in Europe, even in America, or the, the, the world leaders in different sessions and meetings, we were de de delivering the main, um, the main point which is benefiting Ethiopians, being compromising and uh, negotiation with the world. So we had good respect. We were very, very popular. We were mentioned the fastest growing in country in the world. Ethiopia was mentioned by that time. I okay. don't need to ignore that. Okay. Two, so this is because of. February 18, 1975. The Ethiopians enjoyed mm. this, whether you like it or not. Some people, very minority people, very individual group or elite, are people. trying mm. to defame and uh, mention badly, Undermine. to paint it uh, mm. bad color, mm. to paint bad color dark color to what our contribution okay. was done. But the people can see it. Some elites, they might not see it. They are in dark mind. They cannot see the bright. They denied the bright situation in Ethiopia. They denied the contribution of the David and the TPLF. And they denied the Yakatit Asad had or February 18, 18 yeah. strongly, because they had a purpose. But the majority of if, if Ethiopia, if you asked and joining and having a meeting with them, they will tell you the truth. Now they cannot because of the... The reasons you mentioned already before. They mentioned what I mentioned already. Mm -hmm. So this is what I need to say. So uh, we have to celebrate it colorfully with strong meaning, politically. Politically means we have, the PLF have paid. The David, the David and the Katit has contributed a lot to be say, not to kill time, and it's, it's also repeating the word, many people are saying that. Okay. So we have to keep it. We have to inherit it to the Yaos. The Yaos generation, the 40-45% in Tigray, should have respect and honor it to, to keep it, uh, to bear in mind to to took it as their responsibility and to do the same thing for the future to keep the grants and the grants their goodwill and well being. Okay, uh, let me give you one more um, chance if you have anything that you'd like to say that uh, we didn't uh, discuss so far uh, while it was important. If you have anything that you'd like to say, anyways. For the people or whatsoever. Whatsoever you think we should have discussed about, because they have already finished. Mm. Mm. 
I mean, we need to be strong enough. It's not only verbally. We should put it in, in, in the ground. Practically on the ground. Yes, practically on the ground. Our integrity is very essential to keep the grants their, their well-being, to keep to bring Ethiopia, uh, which is suitable Ethiopia, to create suitable Ethiopia. We have to play our contributions. No, op no alternative, no opportunities. Seriously, without stable Ethiopia, the grants is. Uh, I'm not sure how could we survive in that situation because we need your neighbor people must be uh, preaching and keeping their uh, peace around them. They should have to have very peaceful and democratic situations. They should have to fight for that. If we don't have that, still that effect will affect you badly. This is clear. If we don't, if we couldn't be able to create peaceful Ethiopia, democratic Ethiopia. Ethiopia with a constitution and federalism will be destroyed one by one. It could be, it might take time. It might take time. So to bring that, we have to run fast with good integrity and conscious in a matured way. We need to be very wise, far-sighted. Intellectuals, youth, Tigrayans, the whole society. The diversity of the Ethiopia and the Tigrayans. We need to think for, to, to uh, very wisely, wisely, what is uh, very certain to make the grind peaceful. What we should do to create the good governance in Ethiopia, the constitution to keep the, the federalism. Without that, that error, that mishandling situation will affect us badly. I am not sure how we keep restoring the grind, peaceful the grind, and develop the grind. I put it in question. One, within this day, with the February 18, to celebrate that, we need to put our orders again and to renew the orders to keep Tigrayans integrated with other people. We have to try our best to make this situation in place. This uh, situation is in place. And when you reminded me something. I heard that you are working on the use of Tigray, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There I, is something that you are doing in that regard. What is that all about? Just uh, tell me something uh, in very short words. Hmm. I believe I have good responsibility to, to pass the history has done, the legacy has done, uh, before they get born. At the age of 30 or 40, they don't even know what the PLF is doing. They are young enough. Mm -hmm. So they know with the, with the information people telling them or with the media. But they have to clearly understand and to keep it um, uh, with the responsibility. They should honor it. And I'd love to come close to the youth to discuss. I'm happy to, to discuss with them because I got that principle. I'm responsible to pass that history to them. This generation is responsible more than me for the grants. Mm. Even the leadership in Ethiopia now, or the TPLF, they are the responsible to keep the grind safe and restore order and develop, to see, develop the grind as well as develop the Ethiopia. So they are very responsible. So we have to pass that responsibility. We need to make them mature enough to keep that, restore and the heritage uh, of the Tigrans. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm, I'm very much glad to stay with them and I'm doing as much as I can to to pass the story and to tell them whenever they ask me, I'm very much happy to answer what all I know. So this is what I'm doing anyway. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay. okay.